Hello guys, today it will be a non-standard video not about Laravel and I'm still not sure if you will kill me for that or you will like it, share in the comments. Today we're talking about Flutter. Flutter is a software development kit or you can call it a framework owned by Google to create apps. Mobile apps, websites, desktop apps, it's for everything, at least it is said like that and we will try in this video to create a mobile app that will take some data from the API. And this will be an example of a simple app. I will show you. So this is the app just taking the list of Chuck Norris quotes from the API. And this will be a very simple example like hello world but something a bit more useful. And I will show you how Flutter works. The code is already written so it won't be live coding. And the goal here is that you can take that example. The code is on GitHub for free as usual. And you may create your own simple mobile apps that take the data from Laravel API. From the API side it could be whatever language. For this case we will use some public API for Chuck Norris quotes but this could be an example for you to create mobile apps with Laravel API. So let's begin. What is Flutter? It's owned by Google, a framework, Google UI toolkit it is called. It was created, if you go to Wikipedia, it was created in 2017, alpha three years ago. Uh, it's based on the programming language called Dart, also owned and created by Google. So you can compare that to Flutter being Laravel and Dart being PHP, so something like that. So framework and programming language. And it is fairly popular, especially in recent months. I see a lot of jobs on it on Upwork while browsing for ideas for demo projects. So if you search Upwork for Flutter, there is 937 jobs. And if you narrow it down to Flutter Laravel, it's 43 jobs. Not a huge amount, but still, there is something. So I've asked my colleague Modestas to create some demo project for Flutter and some API. And here's the demo repository, you can clone it. I will link that in the description of this video as well. And I've cloned it myself to my Android Studio. So it's not PHP Storm, it's Android Studio. And I will try to explain like an overview step by step what Flutter is, like the structure of the code. Mainly what you need to care about is one file. It's kind of like hello world, so it's main.dart. And then there is some configuration involved in Android Studio or whatever IDE you use to run that. So you can choose, probably I need to lower it down, you can choose the emulator. For my case it's just emulator like Google Pixel I think. Here's the AVD manager, so virtual device. I have a pixel which is running and to run it locally you just click run and it emulates on your local machine like it would be a mobile app like this. So it has a client with some mobile app buttons and features so it's pretty nice to work locally even without attaching your actual phone. And now let's take a look at the code. So in the main Dart, if you worked with at least a few programming languages, you will see the patterns that it's repeating pretty much everywhere. You import libraries, you have the main like index PHP or something what to run, and then the actual behavior is inside of some classes. The syntax is different, but the logic is pretty much the same. So Flutter code, it's all about widgets. So even when reading the documentation or watching the tutorials, it's about positioning the widgets in different parts of your application like text, body, color and all of that and inside of that widget somewhere you specify what data is inside of it. But generally that language feels more like layout language. So what to put where and with which style. So we run a class called my app and my app is a widget, stateless widget. You don't need to care that much about stateless or stateful for your first example. And then we build that widget. And that widget is a material app design with Flutter demo as a title, theme blue, so you can change that colors to colors dot whatever. But let's stick to blue. And then the home page is my home page, so another class. So this is kind of the main class, and then inside of the same file, the same Dart file, you specify the home page. And home page is a stateful widget. Again, you don't need to care that much about that now. If you want to learn Dart or Flutter, then watch tutorials and you would understand what is what here. I don't want to have a one hour tutorial, I just want an overview how it works. So you need to create a state with home page and here you get to the data. So there is a concept called future, which is used to get the data from somewhere from the API, like external API, which then becomes a list 
of a class called joke. And we get those jokes from this URL, query by cats. Go to Chrome, paste here, it's public. Actually, let's use Postman for that, it will be formatted better. So, Postman request, send. And there you go, the structure is 11 results with Chuck Norris quotes about cats. So that could be potentially the result of your Laravel API or whatever is on your backend. And then in that Dart file, let's get back. We await for the get. For that to work, you need to import thing like package HTTP. And that HTTP is also required in a file called pubspec.yaml. It's kind of like composer JSON or something, it's similar. So you need to add HTTP here. You need to import package here. And then you can use the API calls like this. You get the JSON, you decode it. It's kind of like JavaScript. And then you fill in the list of jokes for each of the result. You create the joke class. And that joke class is at the very bottom. Again, it's all in the same Dart file. You specify class joke with all the properties inside of that class, inside of that object. And then you can form the jokes and return that jokes as the future list. And final thing that's missing is the build of the main widget. So inside of one class, so there's class my homepage state. Inside of that class, you specify the future list. So it's a property. And then you use that get jokes future list inside of the actual widget. So this is our main widget and we build it with app bar with text widget title. So that app bar is this one, Flutter Demo homepage, and then the body is the future builder, which is the builder for that future list. The data is get jokes, and then the builder has all the styling things. So if we don't have the data yet, we show loading. Also that center thing, so there's a lot about alignment and colors and styling, as I said. But if we do have the data, there is a list view builder method, and you specify how many items and how should each item look list tile, circle avatar, background image, title text, and then you specify the snapshot data index and whatever field you actually want. So that's it, a short five minute or so demo of how to create a really simple mobile app for Android and iOS. It's actually multi-platform, I just run it on Android Studio on my local MacBook, but generally you can port that to iOS. And what do you think about those videos? So let's consider this an introduction to mobile app creation with API. Do you want to find out more and I should shoot more videos about mobile apps with Laravel? And then on mobile apps, what should I use? Which technology? Because there's Flutter, there's React Native, there's Kotlin, and there are other languages. What would you prefer? Or any comments about the mobile app with Laravel? Shoot in the comments and let's discuss. The repository is public on GitHub. The link will be in the description. And see you guys in other videos.